let's start this ASMR edition. Just kidding. Good, 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 guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a how to start a YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of questions of how to start a YouTube channel, how you film it, what do you use, how do I start, they're freaking out, I'm freaking out, so I decided to do a YouTube video of how to create a YouTube channel slash how to create videos because a lot of people want to know, I've been getting asked a lot, and so might as well just start a YouTube channel, or what? <laughs> Might as well just make a video of me talking about all the things. So if you want to know how to create a YouTube channel, how to make videos, keep on watching this video. So starting with the basics is make sure you start a YouTube channel because you love making YouTube videos. Don't make it because you want the fame because that's never gonna happen. You're gonna get a lot of hate from other people and don't do it for the money because that isn't gonna come for a very long time because you have to be 18 in order to even get your first paycheck. So if you are doing a YouTube channel because you want the money and fame, don't even start it. Freaking work at Arby's or something. That's really random. Starting with cameras, because obviously you need a camera to start a YouTube video. Um, so, I use the iPhone cameras. Um, there's also DSLR cameras. There's a lot of different cameras out in the world. I use my iPhone 5C, and it works wonders. And I am happy that it can film this great. Some people say that iPhone cameras are... Are really bad but they're really not let's be real I'm pretty sure that they're probably thinking of like the 4 or 4s's those are really bad but the iPhone 5 and up are amazing okay I hate this is one of my pet peeves I hate when people say oh iPhone cameras suck no it doesn't okay get it together live your life and film with your iPhone also Samsung I'm pretty sure it was pretty good um, those are the only two phone brands I know. So if you want to spend a little bit more money, go get a DSLR. I'm going to be getting the Canon Rebel T5i. I used it in Best Buy and it works very well. I really love it. So I'm going to be getting that pretty soon. Lighting is very important to your YouTube videos because they will see what you're working on if you're literally just recording in a dark place. They're not going to see it. Make sure you have good lighting because then they'll be like, unsubscribe or not even watching this anymore because, girl, you're not going to get anywhere in life, okay? So, make sure you have good lighting. Uh, use natural lighting. Um, I am using half natural, half, oh, you can see it right there, half artificial because <laughs> there's no other window on that side, so, yeah. Uh, anyways. Make sure you have good lighting so they get to see you and all the things. Backgrounds are very important to your videos because it's your background and you want to keep it neat and tidy. Some people just do a blank wall. That is totally fine. I like things that are kind of happening in the background. I have my bed, my tapestry, my nightstand, my candle, plant, pictures on that. Just like, it's just nice and calming if it's like a clutter like that no one's not gonna like it okay um so yeah but i like to keep it minimal and nice and tidy my pet peeve for a youtube video is when they have a camera that can like blur out the background and they blur it out so freaking much that you can barely even see anything it's like literally a fog storm behind them. Don't do that. I hate that so freaking much. They blur it so freaking much. It might as well just even have a freaking wall in the back like that has nothing on it because you're blurring it out so much. So don't even try to even blur it out because it's not natural. Editing softwares are very important too. I use QCut Pro on my phone. I used to use iMovie and then I went to QCut Pro. QCut Pro is literally like 
at Final Cut Pro for iPhone, basically. So if you want to go an extra step, get CuteCut Pro. I'm pretty sure it was about $5, $4, somewhere around there. Pictures and banners are really important on your YouTube channel because it really attracts someone from the comments. Like, for example, I get people commenting in my comments all the time and I would like look at the profile picture and it looks somewhat professional, like they did some work, it's not literally just like a selfie or anything. And like, I normally would just like go to their channel, check their videos out. I most of the time subscribe to their channel and I move on but if you're one of those people who are like sub for sub anyone first of all you're just worrying about your subscriber count okay uh, second of all they're not gonna watch your videos at all they're just gonna subscribe to you and ignore your videos and they're most of the time they're gonna unsubscribe like two days later because we're gonna be like who the heck is this person? Oh yeah, they're the person who asked me to subscribe. Um, I'm gonna unsubscribe now. That's happened to me so many times and I normally delete the comment because there's really no point of even having that in the comments because you're not gonna get anywhere in life. And so, yeah. This is probably the obvious thing, but some people, I have done this, copy other YouTubers. If you're literally copying how they talk, how they look, how they act in videos, how they even like thumbnails, everything that a YouTube, like a famous YouTuber does, a smaller YouTuber copies them. I had an experience where I got a lot of hate <laughs> in one of my videos and like they just hated on me because I was acting like someone else and not myself. And that video is down. I'm pretty sure it was like, I don't know, I think I was acting like Alicia or something. Do your own thing in your YouTube videos and be yourself in your YouTube videos. If you're going to act like something in one video and you're all of a sudden you're going to act like something else in a different video, they're going to be like, who, the, who is this person? Who is she and where did she come from? I have no idea. Be yourself in your YouTube videos. I can't stress that enough. Be yourself in your YouTube videos. Do your own content do your own style of thumbnails, just be yourself. I'm gonna be talking about one more thing and it's collabing with other people. You can collab with someone in person, you can collab with someone online. I've done both and like a fun experience, I made new friends and it's just so fun to collab with people. But I know there's some people out there who collab because one person has more subscribers than the other and their subscribers are going to go to their sub and they're not going to ever talk to each other ever again because they just want the subscribers. Don't ever do that. Do collabing because you love to collab with other people because it's a lot fun, funner fun to collab with someone that you have never met before and you can be YouTube friends and you can always collab in the future. Just don't do it because someone has more subscribers than the other that's not gonna get you anywhere on YouTube. And yeah. If you guys like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Also subscribe down below and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post. I post at least every weekend, I try to. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.